Hi, I'm Ivan Fraser. I'm an artist, author, photographer, and storyteller, and I live in Glen Margaret. And, and I love people. So in my art, I try to bring peace, uh, yet I love the storms. In my photography is the same way, and in my story about Peggy of the Cove, uh, it's a fascinating, everybody wants to know who was Peggy, and I, I've always been fascinated with Peggy's Cove. So I thought, why not write the story? But not only is it a story for entertaining, I'm trying to teach good morals to kids. Well, not, well, but the funny thing is, more adults are buying my books than young readers. But they love the story, they love the, the uh, character, and they love the moral lessons. Well, when I was a kid, I dabbled around when I started painting when I was eight, nine. And I painted for a couple of years, and then I, I left it. Never did anything with it. And then when I was uh, late 20s, early 30s, I dabbled around a little more. And then in 1981, uh, I thought, I'm going to paint. And it was a gorgeous day. The, the fog was thick and the sun was breaking through. It was calm. And I grabbed my camera and I ran out and I took 36 pictures, took the whole roll. And they were awesome fog pictures. And that, that was just before Halloween. And Halloween evening, the kids came home, they went to bed, and I started painting. And I painted two paintings that night. And they were foggy and misty, and they were they were very simple. And um, a couple of weeks later, uh, these folks came and saw the, saw my uh, two piece, uh, these two ladies from Ottawa. They saw my work, and one said, "I I really want that." And so she went. So I'm going to think about it. And they went to Peggy's Cove, and when she came back, she said, "I'm taking that." And her friend said, "I really like that other one." I said, "I'm going to wrap this up. You think about it." When I did, she said, "I'm taking it." Now, that was back in 1981. They were both $150. They were 16 by 24. And when I finished, they said, are you going to keep painting? I said, you better believe it. <laughs> and then I just started painting. Well, I, I loved the water. When I was 11, I had my own boat. And I was on the water. I could get it in the water as soon as the ice was gone. And I loved the, the woods. And, and, I mean, we were just country boys. And there was so much to do. You could go fishing. You could go boating. In the winter, we played hockey on the lakes, and we didn't have rinks, and we skied. We'd walk up the hill and ski down and toboggan. And this was the famous hill. Everybody would come here. So the whole lifestyle, and we lived a very simple life. We had cattle and chickens, and we all had chores to do, and, uh, and burned wood, and we had no... Well, we did have electricity, but, uh, but I, just, I was just fascinated with the country life and all the things that we could do, and it was just... Uh, it, I, I lived in the city in Ontario for nine years. It drove me crazy. Can't get the can't get the salt water out of your blood. <laughs> so that, I want some. I'm I want something to relax my mind and to give me peace in the evening to sit down and enjoy like calm water, sun reflections, early morning. How can you beat that? So <laughs> all those things inspire me. But when somebody else sees that, say, oh, I love that. That's, that's the reward. Anything else to add? Of course I'd like to pay. <laughs> like when, when somebody likes my work and they buy it, that's really satisfying too.